हाई एवरी वन माई नेम इज बिलाल खान एंड यू आर वॉचिंग सिंप्लीफाइड कोडिंग इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू अबाउट असिस्टेड इंजेक्शन हेयर इज अ सैम्पल प्रोजेक्ट फॉर द डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन एंड आई टुक दिस प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम द लास्ट टूटोरियल सो दिस प्रोजेक्ट हैज अ व्यू मॉडल सो इफ आई ओपन द व्यू मॉडल देन हेयर यू कैन सी द व्यू मॉडल इज अ हेल्थ व्यू मॉडल and we are making this view model as a constructor injection as you can see here now here the hilt will provide all the dependencies that are required for this view model in this case we have only one parameter that is movies repository or our repository and you can see this icon on the left side so if i click here i go to the module and it means this is the function that is providing the repository to my main view model so hilt is providing the dependency but now let's say i need one more parameter in my view model for example i need movie id and this movie id is an integer so i can write here private val movie id and it is an integer now in this case i want the movie id to be passed dynamically that means hilt cannot provide dependency of this kind as for every movie the id will change and i want to pass that id usually for view model that requires parameters we can create a view model factory that will create the view model instance but another problem here is we still want the repository instance from the hilt so hilt will provide this repository instance and i want to pass just the movie id so i want to pass this movie id manually and i want this repository from hilt and in hilt we can use assisted injection for this situation now let's understand how to use assisted injection for this case first i will remove the annotation health view model as this time i am going to use a factory that will provide the movie id to create the view model instance now instead of this constructor injection i will use the annotation assisted injection that means there are some parameters or dependencies that i want to pass so i will write here assisted inject and then constructor now here i am getting the repository from health so it is okay it is not a problem i will get the dependency from this function as you can see here but this movie id i want to be injected with my assistance that means for every parameter that i want to inject manually i will annotate that parameter with the annotation that is assisted so in this case i have only one assisted parameter so i mark this parameter as assisted now whenever we are using assisted injection we need to create an assisted factory so inside the view model class i will create an interface and i can name it factory so it is a factory and inside this interface i will define a function that will create the view model instance so here i will define a fun named create you can name it whatever you want and this function will return main view model and here to this function we will pass all the parameters that we want to manually inject in this case we have just movie id that we want to manually inject to this main view model so what i will do is i will define the parameter movie id here like this now we will call this function create and it will give the main view model and because it is our assisted factory we need to annotate this interface as assisted factory like this now after this i will define a companion object that will give the actual view model factory that we can use to create the view model instance so i will define a companion object here now inside the companion object i will define a function and i will name it 
provide main view model factory you can name the function anything but the name should make some sense so that is why provide main view model factory now this function will return view model provider dot factory like this now to this function that is provide main view model factory we will pass some parameters the first parameter is the instance of this factory interface so here i will just write factory and it is of type factory that is this interface and then we will define all the parameters that are required to create the view model instance except the parameters that we are getting from health so in this case i want movie id that health cannot provide so i want to pass movie id so i will define movie id here so we have movie id of type end now i will define a factory implementation here so i can simply write return object and then view model provider dot factory now we will override a function that is override fun create now this function create will call this create function to create the main view model so here i will write return and then factory because we have the factory instance here so from this factory we can call create and we can pass the movie id because we have the movie id here so we have the movie id and we need to cast the return type as t because this function is returning t and that's it now we can call this function to get the view model factory and that factory we can use to create our view model instance but this time we are just passing movie id and this repository instance we are still getting from health so now let's see how to create the view model instance so i will go to main activity and here you can see i am creating view model using this view models function now i will delete this and this time to create the view model i need the view model factory and to get the view model factory i can use this function and to call this function i need this factory instance and because it is an assisted factory i can simply inject this factory inside my main activity so what i will do is i will write here inject and then late in it where and factory and it is of type main view model dot factory i have the factory instance now i will define the view model so let's define the view model again i will use the same function so i will write here private val view model of type main view model by view models i will use the same function and this time to this function we have a trailing lambda and inside the trailing lambda i will define the factory so what i will do is i will call the main view model dot provide main view model factory and to this function i can pass the factory that i have here already so i will write here factory and then the actual parameter that we want to pass as an assisted injection so let's say i am passing one so now our view model is created and now you can do it inside your functions so that you can pass the movie id dynamically but for now it is fine as it is just a demonstration so now i will go to main view model and here inside init block i will log the movie id just to show that we are passing the movie id so let's log so we have log dot e and let's say movie id and then movie id dot to string like this now let's try running the application to see if it is working or not so you can see we are getting the movie id here so i passed one from here and inside view model we got this one so i logged the movie id from here 
so it is working absolutely fine now this way we can create instance of the view model inside activity or fragment but in case i want to create the view model instance inside a composable function then what i need to do is i need to create an entry point so inside my di package so this time i need to create the view model instance inside the composable function let's say inside the set content usually the composables are inside different files but this is a small sample project so i will demonstrate creating the view model instance inside the set content trailing lambda only but you can use the same method for any composable function so what i will do is i will comment these lines because this time i want to instantiate the view model from a composable function so we need to create an entry point so inside the di package we will create a kotlin file class and i will name it view model factory provider so again it is an interface and we need to mark this interface as entry point and we also need to use the annotation that is install in and this time i am using activity component and class now inside this interface i will define a function that will return the factory and which factory this factory that we defined here that is our assisted factory so now go back to the view model factory provider and here we will define a function so we have main view model factory and this will return main view model dot factory like this now we can use this entry point to create the factory so let's go back to main activity and here what we will do is we will define a factory so we have factory equals to entry point accessors so we will use this object and from this object we will call the function that is from activity for the first parameter we will pass the activity and we can use local context to get the activity so we have local context dot current as activity like this and then for the next parameter we will pass this view model factory provider class dot java so we will write view model factory provider and then class dot java like this now from this function so this function will return type t that is our view model factory provider so basically this function will return an implementation of view model factory provider and from the return type we can call the function that is main view model factory and this function will return the main view model factory and now we can use this factory to create our view model so let's see how we can do this thing we will simply write val view model of type main view model and we will use the function view model to create the view model instance but this time to the function view model we will pass the factory so factory equals to main view model dot provide main view model factory and this function needs factory as the first parameter that we already have here so we will just pass factory and then we can pass the movie id that we want to provide to the view model so let's say we are passing one so this is how we can use the assisted injection inside composable functions now let's run the application again you can see we are getting the movie id so that is all for this video friends i hope you found this video helpful and learned something in case you have any question please leave it in the comments below so thanks for watching this is bilal khan now signing off